Hi, this is Dr. Rob with your weekly health blog. Now, since uh, it's Christmas time, and I know all of you people are going to wait for Santa by the chimney, and, and you probably have that glass of milk with the cookies waiting for Santa, so when he comes down and fills up those stockings, you're gonna, he's going he's gonna to drink down that tall glass of milk. Well, let's talk about that, because as far as the, the effects of milk, uh, there's compelling evidence and research that shows how milk is not really, it doesn't do a body good, okay? And especially when it's pasteurized milk. And let's just talk about a few things what happens with, with milk and dairy products in general. Uh, when you have pasteurized dairy products, the reason why they're doing that is they're heating up the, the milk to kill any bacteria in there. So when it does that, it's going to denature the protein of the of the milk. So, so it's going to be a denatured protein which is going to increase the risk of allergies and other types of problems for your body. But the evidence that's showing up here uh, is there's a host of other th uh, related problems that happens when you drink milk. So uh, strongly associated, and what it's talking about here, a little list, is uh, one could be childhood onset diabetes. The other is constipation otitis media or ear infections, uh, uh, sinus congestion, skin problems <coughs> like dermatitis, eczema, hives, uh, asthma, digestive problems including irritable bowel syndromes, Crohn's disease, arthritis and joint pains. So and then also it's been strongly associated with lymphoma and leukemia and obesity. So th those are a few and that's not to mention the fact that what you're actually drinking in some of the, the milk, that's the regular milk that we're drinking, is uh, there's the hormones that are coming in there from the cows or are in there along with the uh, denatured proteins and also that the, the fat, it's very high fat content and, uh, and it's saturated fat, which is definitely, it's been proven to be cancer causing and creates heart disease. So there's a whole list of problems with drinking milk like that. Um, it also talks about how uh, Americans, 70% of Asians, 15% uh, Caucasian children are unable to even digest the milk protein in there. So, uh, so as far as the, actually the sugar is from the milk is not able to be uh, digest by these people. So also it's really interesting is that we're the only animal species on the whole planet that drinks other animals' milk. If you think about it. So, so and, and then what we're doing is, is that we're adulterating it by pasteurizing it anyhow. So milk is not the best food of source. So, when the, so the milk doesn't do a body good. There are alternatives. What do we do? So, and I want to give you just a couple alternatives. If you like yogurt, try coconut yogurt. It's really good. It's still going to have the, the, uh, the good probiotic type of bacteria in it. If you like uh, your cereal, well then use things like almond milk or rice milk, things like that. So you can do it, it's an alternative. You don't like it, but uh, you, you gotta develop sometimes a taste to some of those things. Try out different ones for your kids. But it's definitely the, the consequences of feeding milk long term can create big problems. So if you have any questions about this, you can contact me at Bates Chiropractic, 310-545-4188. Or check us out on the web, chiropractormanhattanbeach.com. And, uh, and give Santa a better treat this time. Maybe just uh, give him a, a nice glass of uh, water. <laughs> and Or give him a whole head of romaine lettuce. Maybe you can chomp down on that. Or maybe just an apple. So uh, here have more energy throughout the night. So any questions, you can contact me. Otherwise, spread the word to other people. And we'll talk to you next week. Take care.